Bonnie, happy Friday. I got to talk about my puffer fish. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited about this fish. I got it in the mail yesterday for Bath and Body Works, and I've been kind of playing around with it home decor wise. And I would actually like like three or four of these. I wish I bought another puffer fish. So these are currently on the Bath and Body Works website. They are $39.95. And then there is also a matching foaming soap holder for $24.95. However, I got this during the Easter sale. So I paid, it was, let's see, $39.95 minus 40%. And then I had the extra 10% off which brought it down to $21. I'm kicking myself for not buying another one of those because $21 is a lot better than $40. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. It's kind of ugly, <laughs> but I love it. Oh my gosh. I think why I like it so much is because it has a matte finish. And one little trick I gotta tell you guys. So when you're a YouTuber, your background is really tricky. So what looks good just looking at something oftentimes looks terrible on camera because of the light absorption. And oftentimes my lighting switches up. I have lights in front of me. I have the window. And a lot of people um, you know, notice that my lighting is different at different times of the day. So what you want in your background is you want colors and products that kind of absorb that light rather than reflect it. So for example, if you have like a shiny candle, like I have these candles that are shiny, they look a little bit weird on camera. Anything shiny doesn't work. Um, same with the turtle. The turtle is actually beautiful in person, but on camera, it just gets all washed out. However, pieces like the puffer fish that have a matte finish and this wonderful like orangey terracotta color, this actually looks absolutely gorgeous on camera. It shows up well, it's pretty. So I do try and choose things for my background um, that look appealing and absorb all that light. That being said, I don't know where to put this thing because I love it so much. It's fairly hefty, it's not as big as that turk, oh my gosh, that, that golden turkey on <laughs> Thanksgiving. That thing was enormous. Even the flamingo, uh, the Franklin the flamingo. The flamingo's kind of ostentatious. It's wild, it's got glitter in it, and sometimes you're like, where do I put this thing? Whereas the fish, oh my gosh, this fish, uh, the fish's name is Charlie, by the way. Wait a minute, was Charlie the turkey? Charlie might have, no, Charlie was the squirrel. Oh my gosh, we're going to name the fish Ian. <laughs> we're just naming our stuff here. That's right. Charlie was the squirrel. I think Tom was the turkey, and now we have Ian. Franklin the, <laughs> Franklin the flamingo. We actually have a plant, a real plant. His name is Owen. <laughs> I always name my plants. <laughs> so anyway, um, the best candle for our, our fish Ian here I figured out, so I really actually like this blue candle. Um, this was, it's a little shiny, but I kind of like it. This was from one of the semi-annual sales like a year and a half ago, two years ago. Lavender Sea. Remember Lavender Sea? I loved this one. We also had the mermaid one. I don't like the scent. Um, the scent is soft lavender waves, vanilla sea foam, and coconut water. It's not terrible. It's like an oceany lavender. Actually, I like the mermaid one even less, but I love the lids on these. And because I do a beach theme in my house each summer, I actually, I kind of like it with the blue. I think it looks really pretty with the blue. Another candle that I brought up from downstairs, I wanted to see how this one looked. Um, no, I don't like this one at all. This is the, I thought maybe it would look good because this has got kind of a terracotta look to it. Um, it's like a tile. Uh, this is vanilla and peach tea, which is not a bad scent. I like the copper lid, though, with um, the fish. I wonder if I could... No, I don't know if I like that. I don't like it switched because it's got the silver here. I don't know. I, I haven't really found the perfect candle yet. 
for this one. I got to go look around downstairs, but I love that it's got the terracotta finish. That being said, earlier in my earlier video, I had gone to, there's a discount store. A lot of people are asking me where I got my turtle from my earlier video. There's a discount store in Cleveland called Mark's. And, um, oh my gosh, it's wonderful. It's kind of like a grocery store, but it's got like almost like a Dollar Tree type of element to it. It's not a dollar though, but this stuff is really, really inexpensive. They do a ton of seasonal stuff. I picked up this adorable turtle, which also shows up really, really well on camera. $3.99. They actually, they actually had a possum and it's got a drainage hole in the bottom. I love this thing. One of the problems that I have at Bath and Body Works is I don't love their soap holders. There's a, there's, a, there's like a weird problem with their soap holders. Either it covers up the design, which I hate, or um, they're just not feasible to put the soap in because the soap gets all over. So I actually really do like this as a soap holder because the soap really, it, it's kind of jiggly, but once you jam it in there pretty good, it, it's steady. And then I tried it out in the bathroom. This is like the perfect soap holder. I love it. Um, however, I also like this to hold, I don't know, just little trinkets or something. You could put your lip balm in here. I don't know. I, I want to get another one of these because I actually think, I want to put this in my background, you guys, because I think the fish and the turtle look really cute together. Oh my gosh, aren't these adorable? <laughs> I love this. But once again, the reason it shows up well on camera is because it's kind of that, that matte finish and it's not shiny. I was just looking behind me um, at this candle. Oh my gosh, Goose Creek. Blueberry Cheesecake, by the way, is one of my favorite candles. I don't know if I'd want a foodie candle in Ian here, but um, that one actually doesn't look too bad, even though it's blueberries. I'm like the blue. I kind of like the blue with the terracotta, but I don't know. I got to I gotta look around some more because <laughs> the candle smells so good. I love this one. That, that's one of my Goose Creek favorites. I'm going to put this back here. Um, I have this white background here, which isn't too bad. As long as I put green plants in front of it, I got to get some more plants. But anyway, um, I am so happy with this piece. I got to say, this is what the bottom looks like. It's definitely a ceramic piece. It's got a matte finish. It's going to look awesome outside of my patio. I just don't know where to put it because I love it um, for just about everything. I think if I was having a party, I might move it outside. I won't want to keep it outside all the time. I don't know if the rain would kind of ruin it or anything. But um, I'm super happy. <laughs> about my purchase and if these go on sale again like if they clearance these out at um semi-annual sale i'm gonna get a couple for next year for the summer i mean if they clearance them out this is a summer piece i could use this in july and august so anyway if you're thinking about getting the terracotta fish the puffer fish that i thought was kind of ugly at first it's not ugly it's beautiful <laughs> so anyway there you have it let me know if you got it let me know if you love it as much as me and uh i will see you guys later bye bye